What up everybody? Back again here at their negative number unit. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting negative integers without crossing zero. Let's dive under the water and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to add and subtract negative integers without crossing zero by using a number line. So last lesson we were adding and subtracting positive integers. Today we're going to be taking the next step in doing negative integers. So just to review a little bit about what we talked about last lesson, we have our two add-ins, right? And then we have our sum, and you can have more than two add-ins. Add-ins are just the pieces of an addition equation, right? And the sum would be the total. So you have your parts and your wholes. And we know that last lesson, we talked about that this add-in is where you start on the number line, and then this add-in is where you go, right? And so we were starting at a positive or negative add-in last lesson, but then we were adding a positive. Today we're going to be adding a negative number to that. And then we are still going to find our sum. And today we're going to focus on the conceptual understanding, whereas in later lessons we'll just be teaching you the shortcut. So we know we can't subtract anymore. So we want to rewrite this using its additive inverse. So we're still going to start at 2, okay? But we want to get rid of this subtraction sign. And then we want to add the opposite. So the opposite of negative 6 would be positive 6. And so instead of saying 2 minus negative 6, we're actually going to be doing 2 plus 6. It also goes along with an earlier lesson when we were talking about the opposite of an opposite. The opposite of negative 6 would just be positive 6. Some people say that two negatives make a positive. And we're going to get to that later, but we really want you to understand what's going on on the number line today and not worry too much about the shortcuts. And just like before, we're going to be starting at 2, and then we had to rewrite this as the additive inverse. So we're going to be moving to the right now six places, and when you move to the right six places, you obviously end up at 8. So you had to move to the right because you were doing a positive 6. Let's take a look at an I do problem. For our two I do problems, we're starting at negative 8, right? That's our first add-in. And then here, we don't have to change anything because this is an addition problem. We're going to be starting at negative 8, and then we want to add a negative, right? Which basically means we're going to be moving three units to the left because that is a negative number. So negative tells us to go to the left on our number line. So we're moving 1, 2, 3, and negative 8 plus negative 3 is going to give us a negative 11 equals p. We started at 8, we moved 3 units to the left. Here we're starting at negative 8 again, right? But then we are subtracting a negative. So we, subtraction's dead, so we're going to choose to rewrite this as its additive inverse. So we're going to do negative 8 plus, and then the opposite of negative 3 would be positive 3. So we're going to be adding the opposite, right? So we're going to add the opposite, which would be positive 3. This tells us we're going to be moving to the right three places because now we're adding a positive number. Again, when you add a negative number, you move to the left because the negative tells us to go left and the positive tells us to go right. So we're going to be moving three units to the right, one, two, three. And when you move three units to the right because it's a positive three, you end up with Q being negative five. So here you can see the difference between adding a negative and adding a positive. For our I do problem, we're starting with positive 9 here, okay? And then we're going to be adding a negative, right? So we want to move 5 units to the left because that's what a negative sign tells us. And when we do that, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to end up at positive 4. So when you move 5 units to the left, you end up at 4. So we're going to say 4 equals Q. For this one, we're again, we're starting at 9, but we are subtracting a negative, right? So we're going to have 9, and we want to, instead of subtracting, we want to add the opposite. So we're going to change this to an addition sign. The opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5. And so we're going to be moving 5 units to the right now, and we're going to end up at 14. 9 plus 5 is 14. Again, you can see the difference between adding a negative in adding a positive. So here's our U-Try problem. Go ahead and pause it and show your work, and then you can push play to check your understanding. Hopefully you just paused it, and now you're checking your work. So for this one, we're starting at negative 10. 
right? And we are adding a negative, which means we want to move to the left because our number is negative, and we're gonna be moving to the left seven places, and we're gonna end up at negative 17. So we're gonna say negative 17 equals P. For our second problem, again, we're starting at negative 10, but then we are subtracting here, so we want to rewrite this as adding the opposite. So the opposite of negative seven would be positive seven. And I wanna stop right here to hit on something again. The reason that you are, that subtracting a negative is really adding is because it goes all the way back to one of our first lessons when we talk about the opposite of an opposite. When you have a negative number, it's telling you to move to the left on the number line, right? That's why when you add a negative, you move left but the subtraction sign or the negative sign also means opposite. So if you are subtracting a negative, it's telling you to do the opposite of a negative, which is really adding a positive. So the opposite of moving left on the number line seven would be to move right on the number line seven. It goes all the way back to the, our, one of our very first lessons, which is why all of these are part of the same unit. They all connect together. It's important to conceptually understand what you're doing and not just take shortcuts. So here we're starting at negative 10, we're moving to the right seven places, which is going to bring us to positive three. So Q, I mean, sorry, negative three. So Q equals negative three. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's a lot of different options online. We appreciate you spending your time with us. Please leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love for you to like and subscribe to join our Instruct the Beats family. As always, check out our other songs and videos. Thank you again. Instruct the Beats, out.